Hey guys, welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. Oh, look at this. It's time to free the lighthouse. I like this part of Delfino Plaza. Look at the water. Glistening like that. Um, I was gonna fin finish Bianco Hills. Fiendish. I don't know why I said that. Let's go talk to the sunglasses, dude. It's way too early. We'll do this lighthouse stuff. Blah, 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 blah. A pair of my special sunshades. Then again, maybe you're not ready and need to spend a bit more time here. Yeah, get more shine sprites. He gives you sunglasses after... I forget the number you need. And then he also gives you a Hawaiian shirt. Oh, there it is. There's hidden stuff all over this game. And this is one of them. There is a shine sprite design. Yep. So yeah, there's actually two things to do over here real quick. We'll do this. And then we'll free the goop. Or the lighthouse that's buried in that goop. This music and just running around here. Takes me back to just lots of days spent alone in my room, really, at my mom's house. I used to bring this game a lot. Oh, whoops, I was trying to do the sideways jump. All right, get used to the swimming controls, A and B, it seems. Look at this shade effect, though. I don't know. The lighting still impresses me. Like I said, come on now. I'll get better. Just it's gonna take a couple hours playing the game to get used to the controls again. There we go. There's also a pipe over here, but we'll do that later. There's another thing, too, that we can't do just yet. I think kind of just like Mario 64, it rapid fire unlocks these worlds for you. Like way before you're 100% any other stage. Like this is level three here, the lighthouse. And we're not even halfway done with world one yet. Or did we make it halfway? I don't think we did. No, we beat like, we just did number three. Episode three, there's eight episodes per world, which is more. There was only six in Mario 64. I'll free you, Toad! Oh, the hose ran out. I kind of wonder if watching kids chase each other with super soakers was inspiration for this game. Alright, why am I doing so bad here? Yeah, look how dirty Mario is. I can't seem to save Toad in time. Oh well. Let's focus on the main thing at hand here. So what is this, number four of the same boss? I think this is the last one, though. Oh man, I'm almost dead. What am I doing? It's another round two, though. Let's shake off some of that goop. Yeah, you just squirted out a bunch of these little dudes. There we go. Barely pulled that one off. Wow. The rumble is nuts. No! Oh, jeez. That would have been enough to take me out. There you go, Toad. Thanks, Mario. What else do you have to say? A long time ago, Yoshi's lived on this island as well. Yeah, that's another thing. Yoshi's in this game for actual use. Can't wait. We got a little bit to go, though, before that. Isn't there something about this? I know you can go way to the top. Um, but we don't have what we need to do that yet. So let's just go back to World 1 and finish that up. Because in each of these worlds, Episode 7 is a showdown against Shadow Mario. And you have to do that in all of the worlds in order to unlock the final boss area. So where are we here? Episode 4, Red Coins of the Windmill Village. Yeah, Red Coins are back. Which is fine. The blue coins are neat too, but like... They're more annoying than the red coins, I would say. So how's everybody doing? 
I should be doing pretty well, I hope, by the time you're watching this. Oh yeah, those singing enemies. I always associate them with this world in particular. There's very few other spots in the game where they appear again. Oh, we might have access to a new nozzle for this stage only, though. There's nothing over there. It's all in Windmill Village, as it suggests. We could try for this blue coin spot. That one nozzle's out of commission, you could tell, because it's transparent. Oh yeah, that effect. Speaking of transparency... Anybody else used to play this stuff with an RF switch? I was at my dad's recently, trying to find uh, component cables, but I think I'm under the impression that we never had component, because all these Nintendo consoles came prepackaged with AV uh, composite. And maybe an RF switch? The whole Channel 3 or Channel 4 thing? And so I was digging through boxes. Yeah, the rocket nozzles. Not available yet either. It's just a hologram. Why? No, nah, it's an episode thing. You have to do so many stars of the stage before you can bust it open. Look at this. Just for show. That's one thing about this game that always bugged me. There's a lot of cool areas, and it is way more detailed than Mario 64. But that's as far as it goes. It's just for looking at. There's nothing you can really do. Like I said last time, the only real thing that you can do is talk to the NPCs that are sometimes around. That's six. Two more to go. I see one. Gotta watch out for these wind guys. Oh, I see a blue coin, too. Yeah, this part of this stage I like. I don't know, it has a good, uh, level one feel to it. Is there the same amount of blue coins in each, each stage? Is that? I do not know. Well, like I said, I'm probably not going for 100% of those, even though... 100%ing this game does unlock a secret ending. I don't know if I've ever seen it. Is it true 100% or do you not really need the blue coins? I can't remember. It's gotta be 100%. I know I've seen it. I probably looked it up. Yeah! The standard ending of this game always kind of intrigued me. I didn't fully understand it, but... More on that when it actually happens way in the future. At the end of the month, really. Shoo! Shoo! Look at those toads happily sitting. What do we got? Delfino Emergency Broadcast System. That's what it stands for. The Fruit Freighter, formerly unable to leave port, has now temporarily resumed service. Oh, that's the thing over there. That yeah, the big Yoshi thing. Oh, that's gonna be fun later. I like it. It's a cool thing you get to do with Yoshi, but man, is it tough. Or at least Kid Me remembers it being tough. PD Piranha strikes back. Couldn't you get more creative? No, I'm just kidding. Says the guy who just keeps doing Let's Plays. Oh, here's the sunglasses dude. He's always available. But... We don't have enough shines for him to be of any use. For basically every world you can have the sunglasses and the, the shirt that you get later. So this one's kind of cool. We have to go up this mountainside that we haven't even seen yet. Oh, look at this. Oh, what the? But yeah, when I used to bring this game to my mom's house, I had a CR whatever TV. What is it? CRV? Yeah. Why couldn't I think of that just now? Hey, 
And I had like this Mad Cats converter thing. I don't know, I just remember plugging stuff into the back of the TV like crazy to get... Whenever I wanted to switch between N64 and GameCube, I kept having to screw that little coax cable in. Wait a minute. Looking around. You gotta always look out. Whoops. For blue coins. How do I stop swinging? That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, uh, get back on the wire. Oh, look, there's an M down there. That's, I'm doing it again. I keep squirting by accident because that's how you build up the momentum. Gotta watch the water, too. Oh, there's a blue coin right there. Look at that. Actually. Hold on, let's get up here and get a better look at things. Yeah, there's no way I could hover to that. I think I'm supposed to do the wire swing. Should I try it? I probably should. This is one of those things that I think I failed at as a kid all the time because I didn't understand this move. I gotta figure out the buttons. Hold on, let's line it up first of all. Face it. Now, how do I drop? That's not how you do it. One of these buttons has to do what I want. There it is, okay. So now we get the swinging going by spraying at the right time. There we go. Yeah! That was pretty cool, I liked that. And there's Pity Piranha, I got enough water. We gotta launch these little dudes at him. You know what this reminds me of? Twilight Princess, when you have to blow on the grass and send the hawk at the monkey to get that bassinet or whatever it is back. Okay. The aim is really weird. Like, it looks like it's dead on with his face, but then, yeah, then it goes way up. There we go. So it's the same thing, but he flies around this time. So, hmm. I know we gotta get back down to the windmill village. I need water too. There was that hover nozzle crate also. I'm covered in milk chocolate. That actually would be annoying. The best standard chocolate bar is either... Oh, they, yeah, these guys drop water. I forgot about that. Yeah, I was going to say Hershey with almonds. Or Mr. Good Bar. Oh, he's freaking out. I can't reach. Nuts, I missed my chance. This game also reminds me of just my driveway and the backyard. We had two different hose spouts on the house. I just remember all the summertime just running around all day outside, spraying each other with the hose and stuff just to keep cool. Those were the days. Oh no, he's, he's ready. Gross. Like I said, I'm still dusting off the clunk. That's right, we shoot him down, and then he does the same thing as the first fight. Oh no, he has the tornado too. Does he have that in, uh, or he's not in Smash Bros, it's just a basic throw. There we go. But yeah, going back to the cables thing. I remember composite was like a big deal when I was growing up. Like I never used it for whatever reason. I always used the RF switches. And those coax cables, like I was saying. All right, okay, he's gonna go mid-range and then we move in. There we go. 
thought I was gonna miss that one. So yeah, I never really understood the difference between composite and component. And I still kind of struggle with understanding all this stuff. Where's that thing? There we go. A nice refill. I got a refill on water in real life. I'm actually gonna do that after this episode, I think. Where the heck did he go? Oh, I see him hiding back there. <laughs> It's a Tuesday in August right now while I'm recording this. And the problem with that is the store that I typically go to for things, they don't change their sales until Wednesday and I, I don't know. There it is. Buy milk chocolate piranha. It's definitely milk chocolate, not dark chocolate. Now I want a Mounds, or an Almond Joy. Yeah! What was that, episode five? So we still have one more before Shadow Mario. We'll probably do that, and I know it's kind of a little bit like meh. So I, I can feel the mood is meh. But when we get to Rico Harbor, just you wait. Riding on bloopers and stuff. Blooper surfing was one of my favorite things. What is episode six? Oh, the secret of the dirty lake. But it's cool, it's a variation of the stage. Look at it's a dirty lake? That thing destroys you. We gotta use flood to navigate on top of the lily pads. And we should have access to at least one new nozzle now. But not in the plaza, only in this world. But yeah, the store changes their sales on Wednesdays, and they always have good buy one, get one free stuff. And like an old lady, I look forward to what's going to be buy one, get one free. If it's anything that I typically purchase. So, since it's only Tuesday, it's nothing new. We'll take the path that it wants me to take, although, being a Mario game, there's all kinds of ways you can go faster. Wow. See, that's why the hover nozzle's awesome. Every little mess up you can correct. Very nice. So yeah, I mean, I'll get the blue coins as I see them and remember them and stuff and feel like it. Because obviously the ones that are... How do I drop? Oh, there it is. It's weird because I was just playing Mario 64 not too long ago. And on the N64, you have the Z button. we coming to GameCube, it's... I don't know, there's just a little bit of minor stuff that's different. I think I saw the rocket nozzle. Hold on, we could do this right now, can't we? There is definitely a rocket nozzle right there. Very nice. Hold R and blast off. Yeah, you can get crazy height with this. This is what we need for that lighthouse thing. So actually... Just like that. It makes climbing stuff after you fall so much better. Because you typically get right back up one way or another. I'm gonna go in here, I think. I don't know if I finished it, that each world has two hidden shines in addition to the 100 coin one. And a lot of them are typically these secrets. We just did this, but now we can bring in Flood. And actually, you always want to hover, not rocket. But yeah, we gotta do this coin challenge and get eight red coins and get a, a second one. 
Oh my gosh, really? All right. Let's do what we're supposed to do here. I was failing in there, and then I just figured, why am I doing this now? I'll probably do that towards the end, all the secret red coin challenges. It just kind of feels stale doing it back to back. Yes. Here we go. This is a good way to get to this faster. And look at that, the turbo nozzle. Oh, nuts. I really like this nozzle. It's a lot of fun once you get it in Delfino Plaza. We'll take it. Hold R and zoom. Yeah, it's actually really cool. There's one little mini game area. That makes heavy use of the turbo nozzle, and that one's a lot of fun. I always liked it. Oh no. We're already getting into the stuff that's sketchy. I have zero lives, too. First try, here we go. Didn't Mario Galaxy have something like this? The constant changing of platforms? Okay. Oh, thank you for the one-up. Yeah, I died in that other one, and then I just hit exit area and picked the star again to come here. Alright. Yeah, there's no long jump, though, in this game. There was a point as a kid that I got really good at these, but I guess it only makes sense to be doing bad. Haven't played it in years. I love this music, though. Uh-oh. Okay. A long jump would really help right now. All right. There we go. Okay, now it's gonna do all kinds of wonky stuff, yep. Like I said, I think this is what people picture with Mario Sunshine. All the areas that have this kind of crazy stuff. And all the two bads and game overs. But it's not so bad. This one is a crazy vertical one, though. There's a one-up mushroom, I remember. That's not too hard to get. Yeah, right here. Very nice. I like the train tracks in the background. It kind of reminds me of that one stage in Yoshi's Island where you turn into a train. Here we go. Last stretch, let's not mess this up. It's not hard. It's all timing. More games should have doo-wop music. I mean, this isn't really technically that. It's just that one bass voice. Oh my gosh, get on there. All right. See, so you start talking about doo-wop and then everything goes wrong. I can't make that jump. Why are you going this way? Oh, here we go. Come on now, go faster. There it is. It took a little bit of weird concentration, but we did it. No, we're doing this slow. I was gonna triple jump into it, but I was like, nope. <laughs> I'm gonna go right off the edge if I try that. Well, there it is. Well, they get tougher. Oh, yes, they do. That Chuckster one, I, I, I'm... That one can wait. Because I don't want to see it. All right, that was number six. So now it's Shadow Mario. And again, these are required, but... Yeah, we didn't un unlock the nozzles for out here. I don't remember when that happens. I think it's just another random event, like the lighthouse thing. And... Shadow Mario on the loose. Let's get him. These are the easiest ones on every stage, though. I think there was a lot of people who wanted Shadow Mario for Smash Bros. And I mean, technically in a way he is in there, but... Only those who know his true identity understand what I'm saying. 
don't want to spoil it just yet, but we'll find it out soon. It's actually... I have the options. Probably not too much longer from here. Surrender! Usually in these early stages, he goes down right away. There he goes. So same deal. But required, like I said. It's kind of neat. So that's ten shines. That's a good number for something to happen. I can't remember if something does happen at ten, though. It might be sunnier. Oh, no, that... Yep, speaking of... This is where we find out Shadow Mario's identity, I think. That's World 4 now we have access to. What does it have to say about it? The Toads are freaking out! Princess Peach of the Mushroom Kingdom has kidnapped again, right? Has apparently been kidnapped again. Toadsworth. Last scene escaping. To the west. Well, that'll have to be for next time, I think. So, uh, thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you then. Take care.